Hey Petty Fam, we're back with another video. We're doing the truth about 2022 transparent post. Let's get into it. Let me move myself up here. All right. Like easy. Do you know what I mean? There's like a lot of things happen. We never we got wasn't to really, really be on the same on the page. Same. Good morning, y'all. It's the first video of 2023. And yeah. Here we are, me and Leggy, outside enjoying some fresh air. He's on a trampoline. He wanted to get on a trampoline before he went to school. He don't even know he about to go to daycare. It's his first time back after. He had a whole week off. CJ is coming back in about two days. So I'm excited for that. Clarence is upstairs sending off his footage. Oh wait, there he is. He was sending his footage off. What'd you say? Oh, he about to use the leaf blower. Come on. Oh, that's cool. I love that. I think they was at one of them big box stores. <laughs> Is that funny, Legend? Queen finally got to use her leaf blower. We using leaf blowers all 2023. Legend here. Vlog. Vlog, pop, pop. Hold it. Hi, vlog. <laughs> Hold Legend. it. Legend. Hey, buddy. Happy New Year. Hold it. Here, I'm going to show you yourself. Say hi, Let's see yourself here. Hi, vlog. Here, hold the camera. Say, what's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? <laughs> Say, it's... Hey, you getting good at this. Boy legend. You're a boy legend. <laughs> <laughs> Say, hey, legend. He's so big. We in this thing. We in this thing. <laughs> Are you ready to go to school? No. <laughs> no. I'm wearing my New Balances plans while these are Christmas. I'm so excited. No. They're so cute. I just gotta get out of here though before they freaking mess up. We decided that we're gonna renew our tags to gay. To gay. To gay. To gay. Today, the place was closed today for us to go. So we're gonna try this kiosk at Kroger. Somebody had put it in the comments too. They was like, all y'all gotta do is go to Kroger and they'll do it there. And like, I seen it, but I was like, what, Kroger? But I looked it up and it looks like we can do it. Kroger's bad vibes. <laughs> yeah. I don't like going to, like, well, who would y'all rather? Would y'all rather go to Publix or Kroger? Not everybody has a Publix. All right. Thank you. Not everybody has a Publix. But I'd rather go to Publix if I had one. Who would you rather go to your local supermarket? Because everybody's shit is different. Kro I don't know. Lie, Kroger in, give in, me in the like... Bronx, we don't got Publix either, so I felt that. I do feel that. Kroger just... Not trying to be like, you know, bougie or anything, but Kroger just Kroger give me unkept. It just be packed. I feel like it's like... It be like... It's mania in there. Like A, a lot of like, bad stuff happens at Kroger. Like, I've been in a Kroger parking lot, and a guy was walking around with a freaking crowbar, like, in the parking lot, and just being crazy. The police was up there. I would have shot him. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What? Like, I would have, like... Dang, you, man. You, know, you got near me? I'm just saying, you got near me with a crowbar. <laughs> he was just walking around, like, yeah, with a crowbar. But he was off out. some drugs, though, too. Yeah, I don't So the yeah. police had to... Yeah. There go that sound again. You guys, we didn't like tell y'all... <laughs> Y'all comment below. Belt, bro, like who needs seatbelts? You gotta have it to be safe. Thank you. Yes, you do. You got kids. Get your life clear. I'm going 20 miles per hour right now. No. I do not need a seatbelt. It's the law. Thank no, but the car should only start blinking. Thank you. It is the law. Tell him, Queen. Don't be acting up, clear. Just because you grown don't mean you grown. <laughs> And if we're going over a certain amount like. so y'all we're gonna start this new year off right we are going to make some changes within ourselves i can honestly say that together we were not as productive as we thought we was gonna be like the beginning of the year you know how you go into a new year and you like new year new me i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that da, da, da. we had plans and like yeah <laughs> kind of slacked on those plans so it's a lot of things that we're gonna be trying to do different and better this year. We're gonna sit down and really. Okay, we're gonna sit down um, and talk about it. Talk about the year, you know, talk about maybe last, a little bit of last year, a little bit of what we expect from this year. We just vlogging a little bit, but when we sit down, we definitely gonna get into that. So make sure y'all stay tuned. Make stay sure y'all smash that like button too. Make sure y'all leave a comment. Cause yeah, listen to Claire. Smash the like button, check. Leave a comment, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. 
Niggas be being petty, bro. How many of y'all know y'all license plate number by? And then Claire shouted out petty reactions. Y'all heard him. Y'all heard him. He said being petty. That's us. Hey, Claire. What's up? Happy New Year. <laughs> you heard the shout out. Y'all heard it. I didn't make it up. Because I don't. We are at Kroger's. It don't look like bad vibes. Eh? Not at this one. So maybe we live in the hood. Yeah, maybe we live in a bad Kroger area. But this don't look like bad vibes. It looks actually like updated. But let's go see y'all. Ground floor is that idea. We found it. Though. Okay. Cool. I got two whips. Let's redo both. <laughs> All right. Boom, boom. Damn, they make it way easier. That's what I'm nice. saying, babe. We might have to start doing it here. How much is it gonna say? Four hundred eighty dollars. That was nice. Must be like fifty dollars. This is not hard at all. See, I told you it's gonna be forty dollars, babe. Well, I said three dollars. So. Oh well, I told you it's gonna be fifty. I got it right. So this is. This is legit. He got it. This is the bench. <laughs> That's so funny because, like, we really didn't know nothing about this. So we don't got to come back till next December. We want to try this place called Cafe Bourbon. But Queens try to be on, like, a, a healthy shit, I, so I don't know. I mean, we can always get some healthy anywhere, you know? They got jambalaya egg rolls. That sound very fat. It's like a... What does it sound like to you when you hear bourbon? Bourbon? I, I hear, like, some sort of sauce. I hear, like, some sort of, like, New Orleans sauce. Man, it's a New Orleans place. Real New Orleans food by a real New Orleans family. I seen them on TikTok. It's like a small family, black family. You want to go? How yeah, far is it? It's not that far. To Cafe Bourbon, we go. This place looks very familiar. I think we did a video here. Well, our rooms are not even black, but they're blacked out. This is so dirty. The food's huddled. Yeah. Yeah. Right, chicken. Right, chicken. Yeah, I take a shrimp basket. Y'all give me one. Uh, they got chicken and bananas. Is it bananas or beignets? Beignets. Beignets. It's beignets. <laughs> you always tempting me, y'all. Shout out to my New Orleans family. Let me know y'all out here. See, I told y'all. It's always because of him. I found a place on TikTok. I'm not gonna lie. And, I, and it's crazy that I went. I click, you know, you can click, you go on the gram. The owners follow me. So I'm like, oh, if you show me love, I gotta show y'all love. I'll do the bourbon. True, true indeed. And you see that at the food hall. I heard that Atlanta food hall is lit. Y'all let me know if y'all been there. Three wing basket. Okay, so you wanna do a five or eight piece? I'm hungry, so I'll do eight piece. You was not gonna eat all that chicken, babe. Okay. Yeah. No, yeah, do an eight so I can try one. Oh. <laughs> Y'all let me know if y'all been here too. And so for your fry, you want to do a Cajun fry or the Virgin Ranch fry? Oh my God. I do. <laughs> What's better? So the Virgin Ranch is like a $40 fry. Clarence, his, his eyes be bigger than his stomach. Come up and oh my God. It depends on what you like. I like the Virgin Ranch. I do the bourbon ranch. Y'all know us. We love food. We don't eat. There's one thing about us. I want to do the egg roll too. Okay. But I'll take a sprite and then whatever she wants. I will take a um. I'll do a Cajun fried shrimp basket with Cajun fries. Okay. I really want to try that bourbon sauce. Can I have that on the side? And then can I do a beignets? So hold on. Oh no. Oh, she do? You be looking so cute when you about to eat one. You look ready. All right, y'all, it's time to open this stuff up. Oh, this one's yours. Ooh, that look busting. Rice and egg rolls. This looks like mine. My love, this is mine right here. Oh, my God. That looks amazing. That's so powdery. That looks like baby powder. Is it busting? I only taste the brown sugar. Food be tasting better when you uh, Look at that. When you eat with your hands. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so Clarence started burning this candle last night, the one that he bought for New Year's. If y'all haven't seen his vlog, y'all probably will. But it smells so good. Y'all walked in and it smells so freaking good. And I ended up putting these flowers that he bought me in vases. And it looks so nice, y'all. Usually I just keep them in the bag and just kind of let them die. I sniff them and let them die. But I think from now on when I get flowers, I'm just start putting them in a vase. I think that's stupid to just let them go to waste. So it looks so pretty, don't it? So the title of this video is... Really, nigga? Okay. It's New Year, New Us. New um, Year! I know it sounds very cliche. Everybody's always like, New Year, New Me. 
but it's time to turn up it's time to turn up i wrote down some things well me and clarence both agree they're like some things all right i see you with the snake claire okay with the wave uh-huh that we want to bring into 2023 before we get into this though we did have like a little meeting we had like a talk long talk yesterday so this is not just coming from anywhere this is things we genuinely want to achieve and do this year you know what i'm saying yeah. we want to want to handle things a little different you know what i'm saying I'll, I'll, and we want you guys to hold us accountable too you know they've been holding us accountable it's just that we gotta we gotta respect it's it been, hold us before you get into that list i just want to speak a little bit on this year hasn't been like easy do you know what i mean there's like a lot of things happened this year like nothing, nothing crazy just probably personal like mentally yeah, for um, Like, mental health is real, y'all. Yeah. Like, if, if you feel like you're battling with yourself every day and you don't know what it is and what you can do, you might have, you know, some you mental cloudiness, mental blocks. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But just tell someone is all. That, that, that would be my advice. It would tell someone, this year hasn't been that easy. I feel like, I don't know, I, I'm pretty sure she wasn't planning on getting this transparent, but mm -hmm. in the beginning of the year, I was very down and uh, like a little depressed, a little uh, with a mix of confusion. Like I just, mm -hmm. I was just out of it, you know, dealing with stuff with my dad and my family. It just hasn't been the easiest year, you know what I'm saying? And then I feel like Again, I don't, I'm pretty sure, but like the later on in the year, like I got better. I went to therapy. It, it really did help, I, but I did get better. Started posting more and everything. And then I think later on, like the second half of the year, Queen <laughs> has, you know. I, uh, I really want to say like, I think even before tour, I had a good time on tour. Tour was amazing. But like, I think before tour, I just kind of got... Like right after I finished my album, I don't know why, I thought I was super just certain about life and where it was going. And I just kind of got super lost. Like I, even after tour, I just got really just, I don't know y'all, I don't know why, but just really sad, just like depressed, like not in the best moods, not as uh, happy. Like some days I'll be laughing and it still be something going on, like, but just something worried, like anxious, like anxious about something, just the, the, the fear of like unknown of what's gonna happen next yeah. and like, you know, of course, I ain't no recording star or nothing like that. But, you know, I can imagine all the pressure that it takes to, 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 you know, to put on your album and expectations. And, like, you know, you want it to do better than, you know, each album to be better and be different and still keep your your fan base. And when it who come to your tour, you know, who come to your concerts and stuff. That's a lot of pressure, you know, pressure from the label, pressure from everybody you know so i could i could see how she poured everything into it and then she kind of felt like she was empty afterwards but i i also want to say like just for me i i was slacking on therapy for one i was slacking on my relationship with god for one like because you could go to church every sunday and still not like intake those things and like really i feel like one of my things is like i really want to start trusting god and having more faith like and him and just like, just finding joy. Cause we're not gonna always have the happiest moments, but just having just joy in the inside and peace, even if everything seemed crazy. So yeah, I have been down like the last- That's true. So in addition, you know, therapy or whatever, you know, it's always good to find, you know, your, uh, you know, find God, talk to the Lord, you know, um, just anything you need to do to just center yourself, you know, um, because that's so important. You know, so if that's what you need to do, you need to do it. Part of, um, we're saying this year, but it's really like 2022. Being in a relationship, like when your partner is down, it could affect you too. I didn't say it. You know, I really didn't talk about it. You could just, he could just see it. We just wasn't, as soon as he got up, I got down. Yeah. And it's like, I was like so pulling we never, him down. Like this year, I feel like we never we got wasn't to really, really be on the same on the page. Same we page haven't really, yeah. on the same, because it's like, um, I was gone every month doing a show every month. I always had to travel and leave. Even before tour, I, I did a show literally every month, 2022. And then when I went on tour, it was a month and a half away from the kids for the first time, away from him for the first time. I had fun like with people that was there, but like 
Still, I was just stressed out about other things at home. I know my career and my album is like one thing, but if stuff at home is just like not fully settled, it just don't, like it don't feel right, right. It feels like something is missing. But however, with all that stuff being said, we're trying to be in higher spirits and we're trying to- um, For sure. We're trying to like do 2023 better from the beginning. It doesn't mean that we're not gonna like sometimes have those little moments, but as long as you get get back up and keep keep pushing. So to anybody out there that has felt the same way 2022, um, just know you can, yeah, keep going, keep get back going. up, get back up. Keep um, going and talk to somebody, man. Talk to somebody, man. pray. With that being said, I wrote down, well, we both decided on five things, cause we don't wanna get too ahead of ourselves. Five things we wanna do and bring in, um, bring into 2023. Into this so, new year. That's a good goal. You know, keep it short, keep it simple. Just get your top five. I like it. Uh, do you want to you wanna start first? Yeah, sure. This one's probably coming from me. So it's only right. Um, Wake up earlier. Uh, you don't got to put this. <laughs> I was just she saying. wrote early. Oh, uh, that's cute. Bird gets the worm, even if we got to stay up late. The conversation with you got the little the little sayings on there yesterday is i feel like again we're very blessed and fortunate to wake up and kind of make and create our own schedule day to day but in order to be successful and get the maximum out of like what you're doing in your work and your passion or whatever you gotta work hard at it i feel like we've taken it for granted mm -hmm. a little bit Too comfortable. um but a little too comfortable. If you don't treat something with importance, like how do you expect like that to make you important or to to reap any benefits from something? So I feel like waking up and just deciding we're gonna do YouTube today is just not good. And it, it's not, it doesn't create a good workflow. Just getting things done earlier in the day so then before we have the rest of the day to do whatever we wanna do. Relax, chill, we have separate things to do. Spend He's time with yeah, each other. Yeah. For a fact. I definitely want to do that more too this year. I definitely want to spend more time together. And I'm going to be honest, y'all. I <laughs> Claire says I have a sleeping problem. Queen struggles with sleep. I struggle really bad. Like, I I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's maybe I need to take some vitamins or maybe like, I feel like I never really get to rest even if I'm sleeping. Mm. Like, I feel like my mind is still running at a million miles per hour. I don't wake up feeling rested, you know? Like, I'll go to bed at like 12 or one and wake up maybe at 11 in the morning and I feel like, dang, I'm still tired Exhausted. throughout the day. I just don't, I don't like that because they don't allow me to get the things done. It don't allow me to have a productive day. I just feel like if you wake up earlier, like you can have your full day and it feels like you got a lot. Do you ever wake up at like 6 a.m. and like, you realize you got so much done before like freaking 12 noon and it's like wow like it's a great feeling so we want to do that more often i think it'll be better on both of our schedules less pressure on both of our schedules if we just yeah because there, there's right. other things that we want to uh do outside of youtube so we could be using the the time after we get our videos done we could be using that time to to strategize for the other things i know me y'all i've i've been wanting to put out a onesie line i'm not gonna lie i've had my onesie samples freaking since before um tour started last year so that was like oh wow i didn't know that did y'all know about her onesies i had i was supposed to release those onesies i want to say around thanksgiving and i and i didn't get a chance to because i just like i never really got around to it and i just i don't know but if i have more time in my day use my time more wisely maybe stay off of my phone scrolling so much then i can get those things done i want to check my emails more and like Good advice for everybody. I think we all do that. You know, just, I don't know, like, just spend my time usefully and just have the rest of the day. So, yeah, that's that. Back to you, Jim. She do look like a reporter with those glasses. <laughs> oh, queen. Are you going to read the second one? Oh, okay. Yeah, I was waiting. Um, okay, the second one I would say investing more into YouTube. We had our channel too long to not be further. When I say further, I don't mean like have more like subscribers or anything like that because of course you gotta do the work to get more subscribers and stuff like that. But I, I think taking it more serious as a real job. Like, um, I know last night me and Clarence talked about quality. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. <laughs> we had a little debate. <laughs> we had a debate because like, I like the cameras that like, you know, throw a little filter on my face if I need it because like, I be having pimples sometimes and sometimes I just care about how I look on camera. Like, I really want to look 
my best on camera because everyone, I feel like everyone is looking at me. But anyway, in order to improve the quality, like I just gotta get beside myself to like be okay with maybe a, a better quality camera that may show every crevice of my freaking skin. But <laughs> I just we got a new camera and I I wanted to use, start using it for I both my for channel. You. Yeah, both for my channel and but for the certain videos we could use it for the the queen just to like improve quality. Uh, I'm not you know what I'm saying. I just want to move up. You know what I mean? Like that's that that's all. I respect that. I think this was a good camera though that y'all using. I mean, I, I like I said, I ain't a tech person, so. <laughs> And y'all got to get my subscribers up for me to get a better quality camera. I mean, honestly. <laughs> so, I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. I ain't dry bagging. Like we, we started with the vlogging camera. We still have the vlogging camera. There's nothing wrong with the vlogging camera. Yeah. There's a tons of nice. families that use it still. And they're huge, even bigger than us. So, I'm not saying there's nothing against using a vlogging camera. I just it's very nice. wanted to see us maybe go up. You know, yeah, and like maybe give up with it. And, and give you guys something. So, better to but the better camera doesn't have this filter. I'm not a huge fan of the filter. Um, yeah, because a guy's never a huge yeah, fan. But y'all know girls it like. It looks weird on me, bro. I've looked like I'm a Barbie doll. Y'all see all stuff. these, the um, y'all see all this pink stuff? That's literally me trying to get rid of all my pimples. But you can't. I feel like yesterday, what our debate was like, you can't. Like, I don't know. I just, I'm not a girl, so I don't understand. But I just think we could, I don't know. It's <sighs> to, to not. Yeah, but ladies are conscious about how we look, though. You know, so I feel, I feel queen. And, you know, it's really about what she want to play. <laughs> Claire, you got to understand. We need to look gorgeous at all times. I feel like I care too much. Not, not care too much, but not to not move on or not to move up in quality because you feel comfortable with like sometimes you have to feel uncomfortable like you know like you just you just i don't know i don't know how to explain i see what he's saying but i'm with queen with this one like <laughs> you don't want her to not record because she's scared of your camera but that, that was our little debate let us know what you guys think you guys think we should up the quality like of the camera and the lens like or or like are y'all okay with this like just keep the filter don't do that. We can take the filter off this camera. Okay, giveaways. I feel like we are so blessed and fortunate and like, I just want to give back. Like, yes. like there are a lot of people who support us that that want things and like, that even need things. I want to do giveaways. I just got to get my numbers up. Sorry. <laughs> there I go again. Like I, like I said, I've seen the comments about like single parents and stuff like that. And I just want to um, just do more giveaways, even if it's not electronic stuff. We could do like uh, cash app giveaways. We could do uh, nice gift cards and things like that. Maybe like a, a nice little trip or something. I want to do more giveaways because I feel like you guys pour into us, so we should be pouring into you guys. For sure. You understand? And I know, I wish I could help the whole, everybody who subscribed to us. I wish I could help everybody, but you know, giveaways is just like. A way we could do that. Try to we reach We could get back, yeah. yeah. Try to get back to someone, make somebody, um, make someone's day special. Um, Exclusive content. Oh, well that, that's outside of YouTube. Facebook, I know, oh my lord. I feel so embarrassed. We went and made that face, that, our Facebook page still says Royal Family Uncut. And we was like, y'all, we'll, I went and I wrote, I was like, we'll be posting in a week from now. <laughs> Bro, if I go look at the date, let me go look at my Facebook. The Royal Family Uncut, we still have this page, y'all. Wait. We're not even the Royal Family anymore. It's not even the name of the channel. It's not like what was my friend? What's up, y'all? It's Queen. If you came from my IG story, we in this like a G string. Bear with us, y'all. We will be posting content as early as next week. <laughs> that was January 23rd, 2021. That means we're back to square one. We probably made that, we probably made that as a goal and we never completed it. Like we never went and did the exclusive content on Facebook. Like I feel like we need to take advantage of like the world that we live in now and it's social media. That's okay. Like, it's social media, and as much as, like, we freaking talk about social media and hate it, it's like a blessing and a curse. We can use it for good things. Plan better, plan together, strategize, even for things like trips, photo shoots, etc. Um, <laughs> so, we're not the best organizers or planners when I, um, 
That's why we're kind of in a dire need of like an assistant. If we do plan something, it's last minute. So we end up paying a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Every trip you've seen us go on, <laughs> we, it's been planned like days before or like a, yeah, week before. a week before. Like we've never planned in like in time to get prepared. We always rushing. You know what I mean? We're always just rushing. I think this year, um, especially for like the holidays, I think this year was like very slow with the holidays and it kind of made like put a damper on things yeah it kind of made us realize that like bro we like nigga, we ain't like we ain't broke no more you know like we, like we can do things like let's do things let's make memories out of you know the blessings that we have so just planning you know so you're gonna see probably hopefully you're gonna see more trips y'all love when we go on trips like we get a lot of like, I noticed y'all be tuned in. We didn't go on vacation in. this year. Yeah, we didn't go on no vacation. But I, I ain't gonna lie. We didn't deserve to go on a vacation <sighs> this year. Because we didn't work hard enough. Yeah, we didn't. But, um... <laughs> but, like, we should already know what we're doing for freaking... Planning. Photo shoot. So, if there's Christmas coming up, we might have to plan a photo shoot a month before. Ahead of time. Because knowing it's Christmas. So, all the photographers are gonna be booked. Right. Or out of town. Or with their families. So, you might have to do the Christmas photo shoot a, a month, month before. before Christmas. So think about it until, like, the 23rd. <laughs> I know. Even putting up the tree. Well, I tried to put up the tree earlier this year. Like, around Thanksgiving time. But, like, even with the tree. Y'all know how we are, bro. I feel like even down to the tree, we need to plan the tree. Seriously, and I can't say I know better. What color scheme do we want to do this year? I should be on Amazon shopping for the right balls. Like, I'm yeah. sorry because, like, my tree this year was trash. I'm going to be honest. I mean, last year it was trash. Like, next time I know what to do. I'm planning ahead. Because, babe, we, we, like, you don't, I don't know. We just got to plan. We need to just plan better, plan way ahead of time. Make, make better more memories. memories. Yes, yeah, for fact. Next one. Only Queen will say her Christmas tree was trash. <laughs> Gotta love her. She's so funny. Um, I think this is just simple. We gotta expand our team. We need to help you. It's weird. Like we're growing. But like the team is not growing. But the team is not growing, and it, it kind of holds you into this like little bubble. Like nigga, you, you can't do everything by yourself. You know it's what I'm more saying? an assistant too, though. It's like it's 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 more than that. I can't think of every I, all the titles, guys. Put down in the comments below, like what you guys think that we should have, like what kind of titles and people should we add to the team? That's another thing we need to write down. But like for sure, like an assistant we to help us. We both need an assistant. Yeah, we yeah. And not just one. Like she needs one. Her own. Yeah, because like, I'm I need one. Like it's um, it's a lot. You're trying to do YouTube and you're trying to do TikTok content. Let's just put content all that into one content. Then we got kids. Oh, so. that's a whole nother ball game. Like, <laughs> then we, we got kids, so we need a like we was in line with getting uh in-house babysitter. Yeah, like but we then that kind of fell through. So now we gotta look for another one. And yeah. it's like it's a lot. So now that's two things. Then we have a business together. That's the YouTube. Then she has her music. I have what I got got going on. I got my clothes, I got things that we're just both trying to accomplish. And it's hard to do it by yourself is all. Yeah. It really is. And I'm just now, I don't know why, but I'm like just now realizing it. Like, you know, like all my life, you just, I had to put my head down and say, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Or, or, or like, no, nah, no, nah, I can't trust that person. Like, but nigga, we're going to have to start trusting people. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's all about trial and error. We might try somebody and they might fall through, but that's why you just learn and you get someone else. Trying, yeah. yeah. I feel like, uh, you know, I've always been more of a trusting person, open. I feel like he kind of rubbed off on me a little bit. Like, his, his, just him and his side, <laughs> like, they are from New York and stuff like that. So they just, they, they, they don't really trust people. And so. It's just very hard, yeah. I know, it's like, hard. it's. Because, like, to, cause like an in house nanny, like, nigga, she. No, like, they in the house. I get they it. They in the house. Like, they in the house, they see things that not everybody gets to see. They got the code to your thing. Like, I'd be scared. I'm no, no, come with in your here. kids, though, I agree with that. Like, I'd I, I be scared I'm gonna come in here and, like, fucking. Have you ever seen that, that, like, Fresh Prince episode when they came in the house and everything was gone? Oh, <laughs> no, I never seen that. Like, everything just gone. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta trust I somebody think, with your kids. I make think sure that's they protect my them. That's true. You, gotta, you definitely gotta vet people. I'll make sure. That's one of my scariest things. If somebody's doing something to my kids. An kid, assistant. You gotta get him a card. Like, you gotta, you know what I'm saying? He has to be able to buy stuff. Right. Like, it's just, it's, it's, 
He has to have your information. It's a, it's a lot, bro. It's a lot. It's just a lot of trust. And to be honest, it'd be a lot of people in our DMs too. Like, hey, I want to be your assistant. Hey, I, but I don't know. Like that I, just I'm seems not so. No that's so hard. DMs. I'm sorry. That's so. But I, I feel. I'm with you because you need to get qualified first. I mean, giving people a chance is one thing, but like in your house around your kids, no. Like sometimes you, that's where you find the gems. Like people that's just really, but that's also tough. Cause if you got somebody asking to be your assistant, that's yeah. kind of, I don't know how to, I don't want to, cause it could be people in the comments, right? Like that probably have, or that's I just don't want an assistant I or just, somebody working for us that's a supporter like a, yeah. or, a, or, you know, just knows too much. Stalker. He's trying to say stalker. See, they're very nice. I'm petty. So he don't want a stalker. He don't want a clinger. He don't want anybody that's going to be like, oh, I need y'all to do this for me. So, yeah, I see. See, Claire, I got you. I got you. You don't need nobody that's going to disrupt your life and the peace in your household. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I would like someone just professional. Um, I think what we're going to do is create an email. And we're yes. going to have people um, send resumes. their resumes to that email. And then we're going to pick from there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For, and we'll list the... Um, the job titles that we need and stuff so you guys could just send your uh, resumes there hopefully we'll see how it goes you know what i'm saying but yeah. we do need help and we realize it now and we're trying that's so crazy that we sitting here but you know what honestly and i ain't trying to be like you know go all celebrity route but y'all know enough people who probably have people who currently do this for them or who have worked for them before so if it were me, I'd probably go from referrals from like my friends and stuff, you know, who live that lifestyle type deal and, you know, who've actually used these people. So that way it's a real referral of somebody that you know that got good sense and that they've done a good job for this person. You know what I mean? A professional service. Because honestly, there's professional service that'll find you somebody like that. And they bet them in everything. Yeah, we got... Almost 3 million subscribers talking about we need help. Like, because, wow, we waited so long. By the way, do y'all like my my hoodie? I'm wearing it today. I'm so happy. It's so cute. I saw it. I think that was one of her Christmas gifts or something. Thank you. Okay. Um, Show them the purse. For oh. y'all that don't know, um, I do P.O. Box openings on my stream. One year, I sent me a purse. Yeah, y'all sent this purse. And, and I just want y'all to know that I did give it to Queen. I don't want y'all to like think it. I, I'm just, wearing it. <laughs> I just be ignoring <laughs> this shit for Queen. I actually do give her the stuff. So Yeah, so thank you for this purse. Whoever it is, I wish I knew the name. I, I don't know. Um. Okay, let's wrap this video up. So, last one. I think you could. We can, you could start. All right, so the last one is enjoying life, basking in the moments and the people around us appreciating our blessings more. We mean that in the most most literal way possible like um yeah, we i think me and queen especially me and queen i don't know how everybody else mind works like your regular entrepreneurs and like if you're an entrepreneur you know like like all you be focusing on is like your business and like your career or like what you're doing and sometimes when you do that you kind of get lost what really matters it's not um money it's not success it's like Sometimes family, you know what I mean? Like you forget about family, you forget about um, friends, you forget about um, fun. This is gonna, this is, it's gonna sound funny. Like we're very inconsistent hard workers. Like, I, I don't know if that makes sense. Even when we're not working, we're thinking about working or we're thinking about what we should be doing instead of just living in the moment. Um, That's true, because Queen just said, you know, she be thinking and strategizing in her sleep. Go ahead, you want to say? No, yeah, I'm saying, even like in therapy alone, that was one of my things that I needed to work on. I'm always just like, it's so weird. I don't know which one it is. Sometimes I'm just like going with the flow. Like I'm just literally going with the flow. Not in a good way, though. I'm just like... Okay, we gotta get here, we gotta get here, we gotta get like, and I'm, I'm thinking about so much things they have to do, but short term, like not super long term, far away. His is like far away, like years ahead. I be thinking about what I gotta do next week, what I gotta do next, yeah. week, like what I gotta do next. It's so, sh but, but I never really get to, even when I get on stage, y'all, I'm sorry to say this, but like, all right, let me just get this over, we're getting it out. Instead of just really bash, Enjoying like, it. I don't enjoy like looking at people's faces and really just, perform i don't even okay let's get out of out of like my artist stuff but like just i don't know just life i don't really bask in it and enjoy it i just 
Sometimes, I'm always worried. Sometimes it could seem like she's just like numb a little bit. You know, like instead of celebrating, she's like, what's next? Like, what we doing? What we doing? What, next week I got a show? I bet we're going to do that. What, what, what songs are we performing? Instead of like, really damn, enjoy. just sit down by yourself in a room, like a glass of wine. And like, yo, I just tour with Mary J. Blige. <laughs> just like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, you got to like. That's huge. You right, Claire. That's the celebration moment right there. That is amazing. Bro, you're like doing your thing. And I feel like. You got to enjoy it, bro. Like See, and you want a man that's going to big up you like that. You know what I mean? He proud of you. You can tell. You're never going to, like, get that. You remember what you said? Like, you're never going to get tomorrow. Yeah, we'll never get yesterday, yesterday back. So, like, you really got to, like, enjoy life. God forbid something happened, like, we're not here or, or like, you never know. Like, you just got to enjoy, enjoy life. everything, enjoy bro. Even, everything. Yeah. The little things. The little wins. Don't only enjoy the big ones, enjoy the little ones too, you know? And the See, that's right. Enjoy the little wins and the big wins. Little ones is like making it home. Yeah, oh my God. Safe that's a big thing. That's sound big. That night. Amen. Yes. Thank the Lord. Hey, when you lay in bed and your, your legend lays on your shoulder and CJ says, I love you, mommy, like those are the little wins. Yeah. That like. And not everybody has that, you know? Or, you know, the kids are grown and, you know, they don't do that no more. So you got to appreciate that. Enjoy them. Yeah, I, I, I do enjoy those moments, I will say, with, with the kids. I think that um, what we do now, like, we got to be examples to the boys. So it's like, if we're always anxious and running it, you know, they're, they're going to be, be the same way. Like, yeah. we got to enjoy the moments and just give them that so that it could like fall down onto them so that they will do the same thing. I know I already gave CJ my anxiety. Like, and I feel bad for that, but it's like, and now I gotta like um, reverse that. Me too, like she said, it's like, for me, it's more of a long-term thing. Like I think, I feel like I, I live too much in the future and I gotta like live more. Slow in down. The, yeah, live more in the present, you know? I be every day, I am be hounding myself, like almost abusing myself, like, why isn't your clothes yet? You're 20, you're about to be 29. Like, why, what you doing? Like, it's been four years. Like, it's just, bro, like, nigga, you're fine. Like, you feel me? Like, just, you Yeah. Yeah. Um, who was that, who was that person that said that they made it later on in life and it went crazy? I think it was Taraji P. Henson. She was doing a speech and she said she wasn't really successful until she was in her 30s or something like that. If like I'm not 35, mistaken. Yeah. yeah, and like, we be just rushing our... You, you can rush yourself so much and just like, when it's your time, like, you know, it's your time. It's your time. Yeah. Enjoy life, man. Enjoy. Enjoy each other. Enjoy life and work harder. It's like, we got to do both. It's We got to learn how to balance those. But we don't want to hold y'all too long. Um, we're going to let this video in. Yeah. And, yeah. Y'all will probably see the winners before y'all get to see this video, so... Um, if you haven't heard from any winners or none, go to our channel and look at the last video. It's not going to be a whole video. It's probably going to be like a two minute, one minute video announcing the winner. So if you want to see if you won, make sure you go check that video out. All right, y'all. And we will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. This year hasn't been. Bye, Petty Fam. Y'all have a good year. Like, comment, subscribe, share if you care. We starting this year off right already. I say have a good year like just the end of it. <laughs> I mean, you have a good day. Thanks for watching.